What's up guys, this is Ultima I Device Vids, and in this video we're going to be checking out iOS 10.3 Beta 1, which just came out today to registered Apple developers. So uh, without, without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, first up, the most noticeable thing you'll probably notice after updating is if you jump into settings, you're going to find this new panel right at the top of your settings. This is essentially a hub for your iCloud and Apple ID options and information. So if you guys tap into here, you could see you have your name, you know, email, phone number, password security, and payment and shipping options, and also the iCloud setting and the iTunes and App Store are both accessible within this panel. In fact, iCloud is actually completely gone from the normal settings here, and it's been moved exclusively to this section. And you can also just scroll down and you can see all the devices that you have on your account, which is very convenient. Of course, again, these options were available on earlier iOSs, but it's just conveniently laid out in this panel in iOS 10.3. You also have your uh, picture there, you know, name, everything like that, which you could see from the main page as well. And if you guys actually go into the iCloud settings here, you're going to notice a brand new storage indicator up at the top here. So as you can see, it looks very nice. It has these color codes for different things, photos, backup, you know, documents, email, and it'll fill in this bar indicating what's taking up the most storage. And it just looks very nice, very great design there. Of course, you could tap on it to get the same information, but definitely a really nice bar indicator there. And another feature that's been making the rounds is the Find My AirPods option. So Apple's new AirPods, the wireless headphones, essentially, obviously, they could get lost easily. That was definitely one of my concerns when they came out. So Apple added a new option in 10.3 beta that essentially allows you to have those earpods play a very high pitch noise so you could hear them and, you know, locate them if you lost them. And, you know, you could again do that through Find My iPhone. Very useful feature to have. There's also a new podcasts widget. So uh, if you guys scroll over to the side on your home screen, or if you go to your lock screen, you can scroll down to the bottom and select edit. And now you're going to find a new podcast widget. You might have to scroll down and click plus, but I already did so. And as you can see, there we have the podcast widget, and it'll show you recently played podcasts. As you can see, I added one right there, and it just shows up. And I can show you here inside the actual podcast app over here. There's that podcast that I subscribe to, and again, it's just going to show up nicely right inside that widget. So definitely a nice thing there, and of course, we could just tap on it to resume playing it. So we have some great improvements to Siri as well. So now the Siri Kit framework basically uh, has the ability to exchange money. So using some of the applications on your device that are used to manage money, you could actually, you know, exchange, pay money through Siri. That should be very interesting to see kind of what happens with, you know, developers and what they do with that. Also, you could use it to, you know, manage rides. So with, you know, applications like Uber, you know, Lyft, things like that. So that should be very interesting to see. You could just check, you know, the details of, again, applications like Uber and things like that. That should be very, again, very interesting to see kind of what those major companies do with that. Apple added a new option that basically allows App Store developers to uh, ask users to review or rate their applications uh, basically without having to actually open the App Store so it's right within the app. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work, but that's what I think. Um, and if you guys jump into settings and head over to the uh, iTunes and App Store, you now have a new toggle at the bottom that's called In-App Ratings and Reviews. And again, you could just disable it if you don't want to get those pop-ups. And again, I'm assuming it's just going to allow you to rate an app right within the application itself. But again, you could toggle it off if you don't want to see those pop-ups. But again, it makes rating applications more convenient, so uh, definitely that's a good touch. And something behind the scenes that you're definitely not really going to notice, um, there's a new file system Apple is using with 10.3 Beta 1. It's called the Apple File System, and I've actually talked about this in the past, but now it's actually implemented into this update. Uh, basically, it's just a more secure operating system that essentially rewrites you know the files on your device when you update and it's supposed to again uh, be more secure and it's supposed to have better integrity so uh, Apple actually warns users to back up all their data before installing this beta because you know because it has to rewrite you know so many of the files there's a risk you know a small risk that you might have to restore your device if you lose anything but again nothing should be lost it should you know be, be perfectly fine but definitely something to know if you're going to install this beta and for web developers, there's a new tool called uh, Reduce Motion that allows you to basically um, make Safari a little bit more easier on the eyes for people who are sensitive to motion. So it'll just make things look a little bit, you know, more fitting to particular users. Definitely, I would say, you know, a little bit more of a niche situation, but it's certainly a nice touch to see that Apple's trying to accommodate everybody's needs, which is uh, really nice. But yeah, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, there's definitely more to iOS 10.3 uh, than certainly I pointed out in this video. Those are just some of the most outward-facing changes that we can see right now. And I just wanted to give you guys a heads up about what's coming with iOS in the future. And um, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more videos talking about you know upcoming iOS betas, of course, future betas of iOS 10.3, and uh, pretty much anything else relating to iOS devices, you know, jailbreaking, that kind of thing. 
Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook. But yeah, guys, I pretty much wraps up this video, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.